Before we start, let me tell you a little story. In the underground car park right beside my work, I saw some solar panels laying around for quite a long time now. After a light inspection, I saw that some panels had damaged because of over voltage. So I asked the facility manager what happened. He said that all panels are broken because of a lightning bolt that hit the panels and I can get them for free. Yes, jackpot. The panels are made by Sinudeu, I hope I pronounced that correctly, um, and have a Pmax of 185 watts. So in this video, um, I want to show you how I brought these panels back to life. Here I want to show you what happened to, to the panel. So I opened the junction box here and this looks okay so far, these are still connected, but you can see in this one here the diode was blown away and also here the, there was so much voltage on it that the the, the connector melted completely so that's why the, the panel um, is not working anymore the rest looks still connected yeah. okay First of all, I removed the old junction boxes. These were glued with a lot of silicone to the panel. Because of some parts in the junction box were melted, sometimes opening was a bit challenging. In the upper left corner, I show you now how a bent panel is looking. It looks like a mess, but the panel worked flawlessly later on.
It's time for a first test to see if the panel is still generating power. Let's proceed with the silicone removal. It's really important to remove all this old silicone, otherwise the new junction boxes won't stick to the back of the panel. Now I cut through the foil on the back to set free the wires of the cells. Silicone removal part 3. I used a chemical silicone remover to get rid of the leftovers. I reuse the old wires that were attached to the panels. Normally you would attach the wires via a screw terminal in the junction box, but the boxes I got from China could not handle the thickness of the cable. 
so I sold them to the terminals. Hey, 4 euros a junction box, I will not complain. All panels that I got are now working again and I paid nothing for them. So if you have the opportunity to get broken panels, have a look. Could be a good deal. Stay tuned to see how I build my solar grid. If you find this video helpful or you liked it, please consider subscribing and giving my thumbs up. See you in the next video.